Hello, hello. How's everyone doing? <clears throat> Monday morning. Fun, fun, fun. Good morning, dear Bard, Captain Jetlag, and Oms. And I see that Dennis is watching. Good morning, Lurib. How's uh, how was everyone's weekend? I hope it all went as planned. Me, I uh, kind of just cooked some. Tried to relax. My daughter and son decided that yesterday was a great day to be very rowdy. So I had my hands full all day yesterday. Good morning, Hellraiser. I'm a bit tired. Good morning, passenger. Yeah, Lurie, it's important to take breaks and relax. All right, uh, how about some topics? Throw in my way, and let's get the ball rolling. Infinite divide. Good morning. Or if there's no want for topics, I can just paint whatever. Oh, cool with that as well. Topic me. <laughs> Topic Irish nonsense. <laughs> Retro diesel punk hover bike. Alright, so we have three topics. Four is Pinocchio's evil sister. Oh, well, that's an interesting topic. Four. Okay, let's roll it and see if it's... Okay, it's the next topic. Oh, free form. <laughs> All right. I'll just paint something then. Let's... Let's just do something. I thought that I should make an alien princess or an alien of some sort. I recently um, um, I had a look at um, uh, I had a look at a contact again. No arrival, arrival. Arrival is such a cool movie. It has so many layers to it, and I'm, I'm I, I find it a bit like sad that uh, oh, timer. Uh, start timer. There we go. Um. Yeah, it's such an interesting movie, and a, a lot of people say it's bad, but I just, I just think they don't understand the movie. It's a complex movie, like uh, it has many layers to it. I don't want to uh, like do any spoilers, but it's a cool movie, and I love the complexity of the storytelling. It's one of those movies you can watch again and again and uh, see more things. Just like Fight Club or um, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Oh, passenger, right. 
Wow, that's crazy. Hopefully you'll see it then. It's a cool movie. I love movies like that where where it allows you to just absorb the movie but also uh, like contemplate on the movie. I guess it's easy to just like watch it and take the movie for what it is but then there's these multiple layers to it which is cool. Uh, arrival, Captain Jetlag. For me, uh, I really liked it. I like those kind of movies, more complex movies. Same for uh, and like for me, uh, one really really good movie, but it always messes with my emotions. Or like I, I get destroyed by the movie. Uh, for like month afterwards, it's the movie uh, The Fountain with Hugh Jackman. Uh, it makes me so sad, like breaks my 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 heart so much that movie and and um, it lingers. That's what I hate about that movie. But I also love about it is that the emotions I get from that movie lingers after the movie. Like I can stop watching it and then just have that emotion hang around. Such an annoying, lovely movie. <laughs> and that movie as well has layers to it, which is which is cool, which, which makes me think. Hey, good morning, Matthias. <laughs> Requiem of a Dream. That's with the Jim Carrey, right? It's also very... Another interesting movie in, in scenes like that, uh, where it's kind of complexity is, um, I mentioned Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas with uh, Johnny Depp. It's also a really, really good movie that on the surface just looks like a weird druggy movie, uh, but it actually has quite a complex story to it when you start like analyzing the the kind of compartmentalized scenarios you see they're all they're they're not going from a to b to c it's like a, it's in segments and they jump in time in that movie and uh, you don't really know which part you see at what order but but it's really has so many facets to it even though it's a super weird movie I like it. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas is not with Jared Leto. It's Johnny Depp. Passenger, yeah, that's a good one. Um, and uh, another one of good movies like that. Oh, Requiem from a Dream. Right, sorry. <laughs> um, another really good movie like that is um, Memento. 
that is also a movie that has more layers to it. You get fooled by it, by, by uh, watching the movie. Just by watching it, you get fooled by the guy's memories. Um, have anyone seen the movie, Memento? Captain Jetlag, yeah, but... Oh, no, sorry, it's the eternal sunshine of the spotless, spotless mind. That's what you don't care. I have mixed them. In Memento is a cool movie. In, in that one, you're also not sure about the order of things. Like the more you watch the movie and you like start questioning it, it, the main guy's uh, actions. Hellraiser, yeah, exactly. Um, There, but yeah, I mean the movie itself is is nothing like um, uh, revolutionary or groundbreaking or anything like that, but it does have a cool narrative narrative to it, like that you watch it, but as a viewer, you're starting to doubt the kind of leg legitimacy of what you're viewing, you know, like. First of all, first you think it's like, oh yeah, you have to find the the bad guy, right? And then you start going like, hmm, he probably have done this many, many times before. <laughs> and then you start to like realize that oh, he's just a broken, broken man. Existence, Daniel. Yeah, that's the one with um, Jude Law, right? And these flesh, flesh technology, or biotechnology. It was with Jude Law, right? If I'm not mistaken. It's a weird movie. But I liked it. <laughs> Donnie Darko. Uh, that's a freaky movie right there. It is such a weird movie, Donnie Darko. My favorite line from Donnie Darko is that, like, when he's in the cinema, and this uh, rabbit is rabbit sitting next to him, and he's asking like, "Why are why are you wearing that rabbit suit?" And then the rabbit turns to him and asks, "Why are you wearing that human suit?" And I was like, "Oh snap! <laughs> such a cool, cool, um, nice comment. Made made me think about like." Yeah. It just made me think, that comment. It was a nice comment. Made me question a lot of things just by, by hearing it. And then seeing the movie as well, kind of flowing through. Uh, it's a weird movie. For me, it made a everlasting impression. It felt like the, the that boy's um, like his mind state and the way it was reflected in the movie was like genuine. And in a way, I felt I felt sorry for him. But that movie also had like a weird narrative, right? Like the flow of the narrative. Uh, 
Uh, Dennis, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Frank, yeah. Frank is a cool design. Um, a movie that that surprising or was that surprised me was um, and what surprised me a lot was the first of all the movie Up, you know this this kids movie. Um, at the beginning of the movie, you get thrown to like the main actress' wife dies, and they're portrayed in a way where you're like, oh, "Holy shit, this is a kids' movie!" And I guarantee you, so many parents like teared up <laughs> going to the cinema to watch Up, which they thought would be like a happy kids' movie, but they started out strong. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that 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 kind of threw me um, when I started watching it. But what I was gonna get to is that another movie that uh, threw me off completely, like Don, in the ideas in conjunction with Donnie Darko and the weirdness of the narrative, um, that Adam Sandler movie, uh, Click, I think it was called. Um, you know, there where he gets a remote control. Uh, and he can control time, and it's like a funny movie, haha, he can mute his wife and all these things. Um, but then there is a point in the movie, like, uh, about his death, that was done in a way that was so genuine, and, and not in a, like, haha, stupid Adam Sandler way. And I remember watching the movie, I only watched it once. Uh, I remember watching the movie and going like, oh, this is a bit like uncomfortable. This is not supposed to be a, like a serious movie. And I remember it just completely throwing me off and like, catching me by surprise, this very emotional moment of him dying or not wanting to die or whatever. Captain Jetlag, yeah, you see? <laughs> Such a weird movie. We're completely thrown off guard with that that scene in Click. Yeah, I, actually, I only seen it once. I'm, I'm thinking of digging it out from my archive and have, giving it a rewatch. Pretty good movie as far as I remember. Yeah, not not all movies from one director is good. I mean, obviously, we all have good and bad days. But there is definitely cool movies out there, and uh, personally, I I really enjoy movies. I think there is a great form of uh, storytelling but it can also be a horrible form of storytelling <laughs> the problem I, I I don't think this is like an easy fix to making a good movie or a bad movie I think there's so many moving parts and imagine yourself like how do you would you even like tackle um, making a movie, yeah. <laughs> and having that grand vision when you're putting it all together, shot by shot, in your head or in the cutting board, you know, it's, it would be crazy. But it would also, I think, an amazing experience of of being able to do. That's why I love these kind of complex puzzle movies where you have to think and try to 
kind of captured the big picture. That means someone has given it like some serious thought and has really put it all together. You know, when when done right, it can be amazing. Hello, Golden Tigers. Good morning. How was your weekend? By the way, I really enjoyed uh, our little Discord community. It's a uh, having pretty good uh, good traffic there for for it being a new uh, small whole discord uh, lots of good feedback to people helping out and I'm, I'm digging it i'm digging it shutter island yeah infinite divide that was a pretty good movie too but for me Shutter Island, I, I figured out quite quickly. Like it wasn't, it wasn't that tricky. I remember, um, but it was a, still a good movie. I think another good movie to that you could watch more than once is um, Inception. Uh, even though that is not as tricky, it's quite straightforward. The only tricky part is the part where uh, where you try to figure out where DiCaprio is. You know, is he lost in his own mind? You know, he doesn't come out. Or is he out? You know, or is he in a dream? <laughs> you know, all these things. Captain Jetlag, no, it doesn't work. It should work. It should work by clicking the picture and you should get to the Discord. <laughs> there, Bart. Yeah, I know. I, I do think a lot when watching movies and a lot of it a lot of movies get ruined because I figured them out some movies I figured them out almost instantly and I was like all oh, right I know where this movie is gonna go and then you just nod like as each scene <laughs> is being uh, displayed you know like yeah this is gonna happen that's gonna happen That's strange, Captain Jetlag. I'm not getting that uh, message at all when clicking the link. It's strange. Uh, scary. I I did make it unlimited, but I guess after the stream, I'll I'll look into it. Um, I did. I'm quite sure I clicked that it shouldn't expire. But uh, I'll, I'll double check. Dear Bart, no, absolutely not. Um, um, I, n I never want to spoil anything watching a movie. I, I like make a note about it or, or mention like, oh, I know. I know the result of the movie, or like I get it, but I'm never telling them like the the result in that sense. Like I don't want to spoil it for the other people, but I just like the idea of telling. Like occasionally, I tell them like, okay, I I, I know where this is going. Uh, but then obviously I admit if I if I'm surprised. That, um, it has happened sometimes, you know, like you get thrown, like, whoa, did not see that one coming. <laughs> Some movies are like that, which is which is quite cool. Um, one movie that that uh, did that was the one 
with the Mexican Mafia and where in the movie where Brad Pitt dies he gets this choker machine thing which one was that? which movie was that? was that the which movie was it? I don't remember but it was some sort of Mexican Mafia movie that ending really threw me off. I was like, whoa, I did not see that one coming. Um, no, Infinite Divide is dropping some spoilers, some massive spoilers. <laughs> I'll show a cool little trick I figured out the other day. Uh, I was doing, uh, working on this movie poster, and I um, don't want to give away for who or or so, but so on. But I was trying to imitate this old style of of uh, movie posters, you know, like the classics, and. Uh, and I came up with this really cool idea to make it noisy but detailed uh, and at the same time making it feel like it's hand painted um, so the general idea was you make a hue and saturation layer and you boost all the colors like crazy amount like that and remove the effect and then have like a scatter brush that um, that does stuff like that. But you but you like go over the painting and um, paint in more saturation. And what it does is like if you look at the background it creates this really nice noisy pattern but obviously I mean the base where I'm doing this on is just a very very loose uh, sketch so far but it, the tighter the painting was um, the poster the cooler result occurred like you could really get some nice um, like vivid um, marks that way it was a nice little discovery But like I said, obviously in, in this state of the sketch, it doesn't, 
is not that visible, but the smoother the gradients were, uh, you know, more work the painting was, the better effect, uh, the kind of visibility of the effect there was, you know, because now it's just, it all gets lost in the sketchiness. But it, uh, it worked really well. Um, it's something I want to experiment more with. Uh, it's obviously early on discovery. Uh, but in general, I, I'm digging the the way it looked at on the poster. So I'm, I'm going to experiment more with, the, with that to see how, if, how, what I can do with the process of, of using it. Yeah, it, it turns out cool, and obviously you can go in and, and paint them more and so on, but uh, it makes it look nice and vibrant. And the only thing you do is use the underlying structure you've established and just boosting the saturation, and you can kind of play around with with how it, how it looks. But uh, yeah, it's something I will experiment more with. But I thought I'd just share it and, and see if someone else can uh, use it and uh, take it to another direction maybe that I that I didn't think of. Two minutes left. Today was an interesting painting. I find it was I find it quite nice to do these, like random ones as well now and then. Well, it allows me to experiment, I think, a little bit more. But also, there's a risk involved with it, where I probably go to um, comfort zone. But in this instance, uh, definitely not comfort zone. Other than, I mean, topic-wise, a monster <laughs> or an alien, you know, how obviously the comfort zone. But uh, technique, uh, uh, I'm experimenting with. I think that's it's, it's fun. keen on the eye, I have to correct that. Hey, good morning, Ben. Yeah, people are uh, putting effort in. And it's cool to that uh, people are sharing it on Discord and can help each other. It's good. Good stuff. It's Golden Tigers that they're posting all those uh, anatomy studies, right? people are doing studies. Lou Rib is posting them. Uh, what's his name? I remember, never remember the order. Sire Art or, or something like that. Also doing studies. Arms is 
is even uh, participating in the challenge. It's looking good. So on Saturday I will be doing a stream. I guess Saturday is the is the last day of the competition, um, and I'll be talking about whatever has been submitted. So if it's just OMS, <laughs> I will be uh, talking about OMS submission for the competition somewhere at, at, on the on the Saturday stream. But I will most likely just kind of. Um, I will think. I think I will be painting a painting um, for a personal project uh, on Saturday, and stream and have some drinks. You know, as, as per usual when there are extra streams, uh, lots of talking, lots of just you know hanging out together. Maybe try the whole Discord chat aspect, or maybe so, maybe. Passenger, we can use passengers Google Hangout um, and uh, have everyone showing their screen, you know, what, what, whatever they're paying on. I think that would be cool. Um, we'll see. We'll see. We need to do something cool though. Thanks, Mila. Yeah, I like uh, I like it too as well. Personally, I, I enjoy painting way more than line art. But it's for me, it's good to do a little bit of everything. Keeps me on my toes and doesn't go into comfort zone. But yeah. Thanks, Infinite Divide. Uh, so, time is up. Thanks everyone for joining. I know it's Monday morning and everyone is a little bit tired and all that, but uh, um, thanks for uh, sharing my warm up with me. Uh, have a fantastic day, evening, uh, whatever you are in the world, and um, I will catch you tomorrow morning, same time. All right. Have a good one, everyone, and uh, good luck with whatever you have to do today. Bye, everyone. Outro. <laughs>